Isolation is probably the most important trait, though. It's the foundation for, for many of the high-level benefits in, 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 micro, in microservices, but it's also the trait that has the biggest impact on your design and architecture. It will slice up your architecture like vertically. It will imp impact the way you organize your, your teams and the responsibilities, just as Melvin Conway discovered in the 60s and was later turned into Conway's law. I'm sure most people here have heard, have heard about that. And isolation of failure, I mean, being able to contain and manage failure without having it to cascade across components and, and in the worst case, taking down your whole system, uh, sort of is a pattern that is often referred to as bulkheading. The so bulkheading has been used in the ship construction industry for, 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 for centuries as a way of dividing the ship into isolated watertight, watertight compartments. So if, if a few compartments are, rip, are ripped open and, and filled with water, the ship can, can, can still continue, continue to function and reach its, its, its destination. And resilience, that is the, the, the ability to heal from failure, not just to you know, take a hit and, and eventually I mean, die, right, once you get too many hits, but actually recover fully from, from, from failure. And that requires com the, the, the compartmentalization, the isolation of failure that bulkheading can give us. And also that's sort of enabled by the asynchronous boundary that I, that, that, that I just talked about. Because you can only achieve full compartmentalization, full isolation, by breaking free from the strong coupling that we have in, 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 in systems, and in particular the microservices-based systems, since that's, that's, that's the context here. The, 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 the good news, though, is that we have a much more sort of refined foundation now for isolation of services, all the way down to the hardware, using you know, you know, vir virtualization, Docker, unikernels, and, and, and stuff like that. Isolation is also a prerequisite for autonomy and mobility, actually. And only when services are isolated, they can be fully autonomous. They take decisions independently, act independently, and cooperate and coordinate with others to, 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 to solve problems. Which is really one of the biggest strengths of, 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 of microservices. Building like, services that are fully autonomous and, and that can act on their own and collaborate. <clears throat> 